When asking about FEA simulations, you will most likely find two groups of people. One calling it straightforward easy and the other calling it complex and challenging. You'll also find a lot of young people sharing colored images and more experienced people talking about old style equations. So what's behind this discrepancy? Let's talk about this in this video. Most of this discrepancy came with the introduction of software simulation tools. There's no doubt that simulation tools, including SOLIDWORKS, ANSYS, and others, brought in tremendous benefits and enhancements to how we do simulations. However, they made FEA simulations look super easy. But is it? Let's try to break that further down to figure out some of the issues with simulation software. First, one area to clarify is that most simulation studies are applied by following a similar overall procedure. You can check out our previous video on the basic steps to conduct a static simulation study for more information about that. You will find it linked in the description below this video. At this point, you followed the steps and ended up getting a beautifully colored model. Let's talk about where things are easy and where things get a bit more complicated. We'll talk about results, verifications, and software options. First, what do the results mean to start with? Simulation software are famous for their colorful plots, usually ranging from red to blue, and accompanied by some numbers. While it is relatively easy to get numbers and plots, the more important question would be, what do those numbers even mean? What is von Mises stress, strain, factor of safety, stiffness, etc.? Most importantly, what do those numbers mean for us specifically in whatever project we are working on? How can they be used to drive and guide meaningful design iterations? Answering those questions would often require more in-depth knowledge and experience on the topics that go beyond the apparent software application and into principles of design and mechanics of materials. So, getting numbers and colorful plots is easy. Being able to understand those numbers and reflect them on our designs is not as easy. Let's talk about verifications. How do you know the software gave you correct or usable results? Now that we know the meaning of our results, another frequent and challenging question you might get is, how do you know you got usable or correct results? Simulation tools nowadays are very capable. They are also growing rapidly. However, they are by no means perfect. Issues in results can be caused by anything from setting the simulation conditions wrong, software deficiencies, to issues with our input to the software. Being able to spot those errors would often require both experience and depth of engineering knowledge. Some methods used to help include quickly inspecting and spotting non-reasonable results, and benchmarking with hand calculations. So, Getting some type of results is easy. Being able to verify those results is not as easy. Let's move to talking about the simulation software themselves. As simulation tools grow, so is the number of options they provide to help you get the optimal results for your usage. Those include more variety in condition settings, more options for refining the mesh, plots, etc. Being able to navigate all those options to produce a usable study can range in difficulty according to the complexity of the study. The complexity comes from the number of options and having to understand what each option means in an absolute sense and what does this option means to the specific study we are working on. For example, meshing refinement has several options, from setting a global mesh, to auto-adaptive meshing, 
to manually adjusting the mesh in different areas of the design. Knowing about those options is the easy part compared to uniquely applying them to best fit your specific project. So being able to run a study is easy. Being able to run an optimized study is not as easy. Now let's go back to our original question. Are FEA simulations easy or hard? The reality is that FEA simulations are just like other expanding fields of study. It has a surface, but beneath that exists great depth. The deeper you go, the more complex things can get. And so do not be surprised when you meet people spending 20 plus years doing simulations and are still learning. While software applications came as a great enablers for simulations, they can also give us some false sense of knowledge neglecting the depth of the field. Getting attractive and colorful plots can be exciting when you start with simulations, but there is often more than meets the eye. So do you use simulation tools? What do you use them for and what part of it do you find most challenging? Most importantly, do you think FEA simulations are easy or hard? I would love to know more about your experience, so please share them with us in the comments below. Before I end this video, there's something I wanted to share. In case you're looking to learn how to do simulations in a software like SOLIDWORKS, we have something for you. We have a full structured program on FEA static simulations using SOLIDWORKS. The program is comprehensive, including more than 80 videos and many different groups and individual exercises. We will leave the link in the description of this video for you to check it out for more information. If you are looking to build yourself a strong foundation in simulation, this program is for you. I hope to see you there.